So, welcome to the show. Today, we are at the 360 Grill at the Shoals Marriott Hotel and Spa. And with me is Mike Wainer. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here, Mary Marshall. Good. Uh, Mike is the chef de cuisine here at the 360, and they have redone the restaurant, or the whole the whole Marriott has had a makeover. Oh, yes. And the 360 has, and as well as you have some new items on the menu. Yes, we do. So. Um, we're going to test my cooking skills today, and hopefully I will go home with all 10 fingers. It should be fun. Yeah. Hopefully nothing catches on fire I, up here. Well, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so tell me what we're going to cook first. Uh, uh, what we're going to do is a 62-degree egg, okay. and we're going to serve that with a little Koneka hash. Koneka? Yeah. It's just a good homey dish. It's what I like to eat for breakfast. You know, breakfast is one of my favorite meals of the day, because, yeah. you know, working in the kitchen, that's one of the one meals you can't have with your family. Well, that's so. nice. And so, um, all right, so tell me what we're going to do and what, what I can do to help. All right, well, I'm going to let you do most of the cooking oh. since I get to do it every day. Okay. So I'll let you come right over here. Okay. And we're going to start with a hot cast iron skillet. We'll put a little butter down here to start melting away for us. Now, do you use cold butter or room temperature? Does it uh, matter? Room temperature works best just because it's a lot faster. Okay. Just kind of stir that in a little bit. Uh, first ingredient, what we have here is Koneka sausage. Now, from, is that from Koneka County? Yes, it is. It's Alabama's own sausage, and it's the best in the world. You know, right here in Alabama. That's why I love using it. So we're going to start with a sausage right there. Start that caramelizing away. I'm going to turn your heat up just a little bit here. And um, Ooh, basically, we're going to let good. this cook with the butter. Kind okay. of have a nice little crust forming on the sausage, and you know, just all that goodness starts that coming goodness. out. Okay, so. so talk to me about Blue Mondays while our sausage is cooking. Okay, Blue Mondays, um, every Monday we have uh, specials, Blue Plate specials, Blue Drink specials, um, and basically it's the B Benefit Safe Place, what we do. It's a charity okay. here that's local, and it's um, Stop Domestic Violence. Okay. So 10% of our sales on Monday goes directly to Blue um, well, that's awfully nice. Safe Place. And will that run through the summer, will it? Yes, it runs all summer long through August. Okay. So Labor Day-ish, or more, yeah, Labor Day, it'll... Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Now that our sausage is looking good here, we're going to do a little bit of onions. I'm going to smell really good later. <laughs> and then our duo of peppers here. What I have is roasted red peppers for sweetness, right. and poblano peppers to add a little bit of heat and add a little bit of smoke to that. All of them? Part of them? Just that right there should right. be good. We'll let that hang out together for a little bit, let the onions kind of get caramelized. This is fun. Yeah, it smells amazing, doesn't it? It does. Okay. All right, and right now, we're going to clear out a little spot and all that nice little bit of oil that came out of the salsa for fixing to use. Okay. So once we push the salsa around, have that oil getting hot right there, we're going to add the potatoes to that. That way the potatoes can sear in the own oil. And I noticed you're using smaller potatoes and they're different colors. Yes, um, these are just rainbow fingling potatoes. All right. And, um, you know, all different kinds of bridles there. And, you know, just add a nice, unique look to it. And More color to our dish. Oh, yes. That smells great. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, so you recently redid the menu. Yes, uh, we just changed um, to the spring menu, fixing change into the summer menu, in fact. So. You know, we like to stay with the season, stay with whatever's fresh during that. And do you use a lot of local, or try to use as much locally grown? Yes, yes, of course. Again. Local produce, local meats, you know, that's what we're all about. And we appreciate that. Yeah. Of course, at this point, when you kind of start seeing a little bit of color forming on the potatoes. Yes. When we say to add the corn. What and we you have grilled is, the corn? Mm hmm Grilled corn, and I just shucked it off the top. Made that come together a little better. We have white wine, if you'd like to add some of that. Okay. How much? Um, let's start with about two ounces in there. There we go. Now the smells really it come out. Really good. This is better than the spa for a steam bath. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to eat it. Oh, yeah. And oh, just, yeah. Just to finish this off, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay. Get that corn finish up. All right, for plating here. You want me to 
Sure, we'll just move down this way. Okay. Uh, I like to play it in things that's similar to what we're cooking now. So what we have is mini cast iron skillets here. Okay. And and um, are those hard to find? Um, you can find them at different places. I've seen them at um, world markets. I've seen them in a different places. I actually saw it at some at Bargain Hunt one day. Okay. So you can find them around. They're handy. Oh, yes. Start just a little bit there, and we'll keep it rusted. We'll let some fall on the plate as well. Kind of like at my house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I try. Sometimes it's fun to be messy. Yes. So. All right, and to garnish this, what we have is a 62-degree egg. It's been poaching in its own shell here. Uh, what we have is an immersion circulator. It basically keeps it at a constant temperature. That way we control precisely how we want the egg. Okay. 62 degrees is my favorite. Some like to go above, some like to go beyond. Um, all around that temperature, but I think 62 degrees makes the perfect yolk. Okay. Find a good egg for you. Because I'm a good egg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, if you will, you crack that egg for us and show us what a shell pushed egg looks like. Yes. <laughs> yes, I will. Oh, look at there. Lucky. All right, we're just going to put it right there. Oh. Or not. Or not. Well, it can hang out right there. Okay. Now tell me about this. This is our house-made cheese. We make the cheese in-house. You know, we cook the milk and we separate the curds. A little bit of lemon juice in there. And to accent that, a little bit of lemon zest and a little fresh herbs of oregano and parsley. Okay. And there we go. Where's my fork? Fork? How about right here? Works. It's a spoon, but... Okay, so... Um, before I get my mouth full, we um, will be back after the break and we're going to do a lemongrass infused creme brulee with blueberry preserves. So we'll be right back and I'm going to get a bite of this. All right. Now create a password. <coughs> Walter. Your password must contain eight characters. Walter Dog. Your password must contain two numbers. Contain at least two numbers. Box of stupid. We can't fix that problem. But at Fuller Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing, real people answer our phones. Serving North Alabama and Middle Tennessee. Please re enter the password. Now, who's the box of stupid? Have you been living with pain for so long it's become part of your everyday life? then you should know that chiropractors are trained and licensed to treat pain without surgery or drugs. So, if you want to leave pain behind, visit your local chiropractor today. It's the natural way to stay healthy. Thompson Family Chiropractic Clinic is now accepting new patients. We specialize in true spinal decompression using the DRX-9000 for herniated or bulging cervical and lumbar disc. We perform DOT physicals, drug tests, and neck and low back pain. We are open six days a week. Walk-ins are welcome. Call us today at 256-383-5772. Just remember at Thompson Family Chiropractic. We have your back. Hello, I'm Cash Ellison, and I'm a supervising lifeguard here at the Fed Aquatic Center. I'd like to take this time to invite everyone out to come see us. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 in the morning till 5 at night. We also have parties from 5.30 until 9.30. Uh, we have three slides that you can ride, the red, the blue, and the yellow slide. The yellow slide drops you five foot into the deep end. It's a pretty good little splash down. Uh, the red slide is more of a gentle, classic grotto slide that we have here. And we also have the new Lazy River. Uh, we pretty much have everything from people of all ages. Uh, we have a kid play area with a kiddie slide that the kids love to play on. It has uh, buckets on it that dumps water, sprayers they can spray each other with. Uh, they just have a ball out here. So bring your kids, bring your grandparents, everybody come out and just have a good time with us. We're open also on Sunday from one until five. And I must say, we did snark down the 62-degree um, egg with the Kaneka sausage hash. 
So we're moving on to the lemongrass infused creme oh, yeah. brulee. Doing a little bit of dessert. Yes, yeah. this, this is one of the desserts we actually have on the menu. It's my favorite. And it's one of the best sellers, so. Yeah. I uh, figure I'll teach some people how to do it a little bit. Okay. All right, what we're going to start with, a condensed version of what we do here. We'll start with two cups of cream. Heavy cream. Heavy cream. The good stuff. The good stuff. So that's two cups of cream there. If okay. you will, I think it's a sprig of lemongrass over there. I can do that. Now the best part of lemongrass is the smell. Yes. When you break it like that, just smell that. Yum. Mm -hmm. God. We just want to kind of break it real good, get all the oils and all getting out of there. Just kind of let that put in with the cream, let that steep together. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to let this steep for about 30 minutes. You know, with the cream, of course, due to time, we'll just kind of go it's right ahead and move on. Magic of television. Magic of television. Mm -hmm, exactly. Wonderful thing. So are we moving up here? Currently not. Only the outside ring moves around okay. the restaurant, basically where the diner sit and eat. Yeah. It just kind of goes around the floor and gets you the entire 360 view of Florence, Isn't Alabama. That's clever. <laughs> so how long does it take to do one rotation? It takes about uh, 45 minutes, you know, to go all the way around. And of course, you'll see views of the parks. You'll see views of, the, of course, the... Tennessee River here yep. and the course of the hut, the dam. Yeah. So. Wilson Dam. Wilson Dam. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Now for the other half of the creme brulee. Have is half a cup of sugar. So that um, we have five eggs, but all we need is the yolks. So what we're gonna do if you like to crack with me here. Don't be showing me up. Oh, he's showing me up. In a big way. Here. There you go. I'll just throw them away and you crack. How about that? <laughs> All right. That'll be faster. There we go. I'm going to set that right down there. I find the easiest way to remove the yolk is just kind of crack into the bowl. You just grab it out. And then you don't get any shell. Out. No shell. That. So are we making a custard? Yes, we're making a custard. Okay. And what days of the week are you all open? We're open, well, of course, we're open Mondays now during the summer. Right. But uh, we're op open Tuesday through Saturday. And do you want me to incorporate that with the whisk? Yes, we can start whisking those together. Of course, you have your egg whites you can use for meringue or anything you like right. to do with those later. Okay, so typically in the summer, you're open on Monday nights. Mm -hmm. And then um, Tuesday through Sunday, dinner. Dinner service, and what time does dinner service start? Well, we start uh, cocktail service around 4.30, so if you like to come in early, catch the yep. sunset, have a couple cocktails by the bar, you know, that's, we definitely welcome that. Okay. And uh, dinner service, we start around 5 o'clock. All right. And go until 10. And do you do brunch on Sunday? Uh, we do not do brunch right now. Just but, in the hotel. But we do do a brunch on special occasions, such as Mother's Day and special Father's events Day. like that. So. Okay. All right, now that we got our cream steep for 30 minutes. <laughs> you want to hold on to the whisk for oh, good. use it again? Yes, I will. What I'm going to do is going to take a little bit of this infused cream mixture. Put it right there if you would like to whisk that in. So why are you adding it a little bit at the time? It's called tempering. It's basically for it to come together, you want to bring them to the same temperature before you combine them. So if you feel the bottom of the bowl kind of start heating up from the cream. Yeah. You know. So what happens if you don't temper it? It likes to scramble the eggs. If you just pour all this hotness I've never in there. Done that. Oh yeah. <laughs> just keep going. Right now that kind of feels about the same temperature as this right here. So we're gonna go and combine it all together now. Well, I'm gonna trade out with you. If we whisk too much at this point, it's gonna incorporate a lot of air. And we don't want to do that. We don't we're not want to do a that. Meringue. We want just a real smooth, consistent here. Then there's our custard base. Yeah. We're going to strain out in case there's any lemongrass pieces or whatnot going through. I'll just sit this back here. Okay. All right, now the secret to making a good creme brulee is how you cook it. So what we have here, we're going to set up a water bath and cook it in. Okay, so we'll take our custard and we're going to pour it into our molds. So Mike, where did you go to cooking school? I went to La Cordon Bleu in Atlanta, Georgia. 
And where are you from originally? Um, I say I was raised in the Dothan area because that's where I spent my good years of my life. So, okay. but I was originally born in North Carolina, but I say raised in around Dothan, Alabama. So we'll put that in. This is just water. That's we're just pouring in the bottom. That way, while it cooks, it's going to create steam. Okay. And add that nice texture that we love in creme brulee. So it cooks gently. It cooks very gently. So we'll wrap this with tin foil. And this is going to go into an oven. We're going to set it at about 350 degrees, and it's going to okay. cook for about 30 minutes. And kind of steam in there as well. Mm -hmm. it's going so, steam. do we need to be careful when we take that out? Should we let it sit before you, like um, me, fling up the cover and go woo? <laughs> Mine is best when you take it out of the oven to release the cover, but okay. do it very carefully and away from yourself. I'll pull it from that end because, <laughs> of course, steam will come out. Yeah. Okay. But, all right. And once again, the magic television. Here's the completely set well, custard we have here. All right, and this is the fun part. I know, I'm excited. All right. Well, here is just our sugar that we infuse with vanilla. And we'll how do you do that? Um, basically, it's actually the product of leftovers. We okay. have the leftover vanilla beans we use in different recipes, like our vanilla bean shortbread and stuff. And we take the scrapings and we just kind of let them soak in the sugar for however long. That's how we preserve them. So. Stay there, and I'll let you have the fun part. Are you afraid? <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to kind of gently torch the top of this, okay. starting from the back area. Okay. And just work your way back. We'll just smash this button right here. There's your flame. This button. Yes, ma'am. Oh. See the. Or another Let's best part of the glaze. Oh, I can smell it caramelizing. Oh yeah, that's the caramelizing. Yeah. You get to smell it in the air when it comes, and that nice brown color. You're gonna to want to get that everywhere. I'll turn that for you. I'll let you keep burning. Am I too close? Oh, you're doing just right. That's right distance. Sometimes it takes a while. Oh. All right, and what I have here is our house-made blueberry preserves. So, just blueberries, fresh blueberries. Okay. A little bit of sugar and a little bit of vanilla. Oh, yum. So, adds a little bit of sweetness and blueberries and lemongrass just kind of go together to exactly. me. Exactly. Just plop a little bit like that and there we go. Great. It's good. I know, I'm excited. All right. So, thank you for letting me come and be your um, sous chef, if mm -hmm. you will. I appreciate it. And we're really excited that Blue Mondays are going again. So, everybody come out to the Marriott and come to the 360 Grill. Um, cocktails are at 4? 4.30. 4.30 and then dinner service is at 5 and all of the proceeds from Blue Monday or 10% of the proceeds from Blue Monday go to Safe Place. Yes ma'am. So you are awfully kind and I'm excited to see the summer menu yes. in a week or two. Yes ma'am. Great. Thank you. Right, thank Thanks you very much Mary Marsh. All right I'm gonna dig don't, in. Don't mind me and I will see y'all next time. Thank you. <gasps> well, where's your spoon? Right here. Oh ma'am. A little bit of that blueberry in there. I'm a good cook. <laughs>